Hi, I'm Joshua. Nanohub.org tools are authored by community members and allow users to run simulations and gather data on a wide variety of nanotechnologies. In this video, we'll cover finding tools, learning about a particular tool, starting a session, that is, an instance of a tool which you can use, and finally, the general tool user interface. Let's jump right in. I've already logged in, so I'm on my MyHub homepage. We can navigate to the Tools landing page via the Resources menu and the Tools sub-option. At the top of this page, we see a list of tools organized by tag, or brief labels that users have contributed to describe the tools. Worth noting, if we scroll down, we see the top-rated tools on nanohub.org. This is a great way to find popular tools that you might want to play around with. Again, revisiting the tag concept, we have a list of labels here that we can look for tools by. I'm going to find the tag that is labeled Crystal by scrolling down and clicking on it. This will reveal all tools that pertain to crystals. There's one tool that caught my eye, and that's the Crystal Viewer tool. I'm going to click that, and I see new content appear to the right. Now, if I were a veteran user, I could click the Launch Tool button, and start up an instance of the tool right here. But for now, we're going to click the Learn More link to learn more about this tool. Following this link will take you to the tool homepage, which is full of information. We strongly encourage you to investigate this at your own pace. But the first thing you should look for is a first-time user guide, or if that's not present, then view all the supporting documents to get an idea of how the tool works. But because we're adventurers, we're just going to launch a copy of this tool and dive right in. You can see it loading, and it takes you to a different page where the gray content in the lower left is actually the tool running on remote computers. Now I'm just clicking around a bit to show that it's interactive, but we're going to try and scroll down a bit to get the whole tool in view. There is a bit of flicker, but that's unavoidable. Hmm, can't quite get it all in view. Let's click Pop Out to pop the tool into a separate window. Now I can set a few options. In this case, I'm setting up a render of a 3D crystal. And once I've done that, I can click the Simulate button to run the simulation and generate the image. In this tool, you get a 3D image. And by clicking and dragging on that image, you can rotate it in 3D space. If for any reason you need the window to close and put the simulation back in the original parent window, you can simply click Pop Out again. Note the tabs at the top of the page. There's a Questions tab where you can view and ask questions about the tool, as well as an About tab with general information. Now revisiting our MyHub homepage again for just a second, we're going to see that the tool is still running on the nanohub.org servers. In the My Sessions section, we see the Crystal Viewer Tool instance that we started. If we click this link, we go back to the open session that we've already started, which will stay open for a long time, or until we manually close out the session by clicking the close button on, on the session page. Once we've closed it, we see that it is no longer present in the section for sessions on our MyHub page. Now this is just the tip of the iceberg for tools on nanohub.org. We suggest that you just play around. Go find a tool, read the documentation, launch an instance, and play around to your heart's content. Thanks for watching.